A game of Apex is a game of decisions, kind of like a chess match. Some decisions you make in the beginning of the game can affect the decisions in the end of the game. In this game of Apex, I made some bad decisions and I led my team into a terrible spot. Would I be able to lead them out or would they just leave me out to dry? But before I can tell you this story, we gotta start it all the way at the beginning. powers have shifted in Apex Legends, the poster child Wraith has been dethroned in surprising fashion by everybody's favorite robot, Pathfinder. When you think about it, isn't that surprising because AI is starting to take over the world as we speak. But with all due respect to our grapple-slinging, fun-loving robot, this is Pathfinder's first time at the top of the mountain, and I wanted to prove that he's not just a bucket of bolts with the hitbox the size of a refrigerator, but he's actually a viable legend in Apex Legends. But what's up everyone, it's King Reggie, your average gamer, playing as Pathfinder as we grapple into this new adventure. Now if you don't play Pathfinder, I'm here to tell you why you should play Pathfinder. And now forget what I said about his giant hitbox the size of a refrigerator, and focus on the only thing that really matters about his entire kit, and that is his grapple gun. The grapple gun is probably the single best piece of utility in all of Apex Legends. The grapple gun can have you slinging around the map like Spider-Man so good that J. Jonah Jameson is going to be on your case next. And there is no better feeling than hitting one of the cleanest, smoothest grapples in the world. When I hit one, I get a little tingle in my... Now yes, yes, all this sounds fun and dandy, but I got a couple of games here that I can show you and prove to you the utility of Pathfinder and how much fun you can have as our grapple-slinging, fun-loving robot. Now our journey begins on Storm Point with none other than a hot drop to launch pad. Teammate Loba had already been down, and Caustic was in there suffocating her with his stink traps. Luckily, Rampart was there to save the day, so I swung up top to get a better look at the situation from above. But before I could fully assess the situation, our Rampart also went down, and me thinking we were going to get sent back to the lobby became a real thought in my mind. But I still persevered, and I tried to see the situation out. I decided to take the initiative and swing us right back into the action where Bloodhound thought that you know I needed a better barber because he decided to give me a new fade. My surprise, Loeb and Ramparts were still able to regroup and then also take down the Bloodhound and another person. And for that I thank them because it's not all the time that you get teammates that are able to clutch up certain situations and I was down bad. But we were not out of the woods because after we looted up a little bit, footsteps of a third party started to trot in. This is the part of the story where something that happens in the beginning will play a crucial part in the end. And you gotta think that you need to always make sure that before you enter a fight, you reload your weapons. One of the best feelings in Apex is completing a successful hot drop and that's exactly what we did. Now we are leaving Launchpad with two kills to our name and over 500 damage done. But with as every game that happens in Storm Point, you usually have that main big fight and then there's a giant lull in the middle of the game. But I was determined not to let us fall into this lull where I was pushing us forward into none other than Jurassic Park. Multiple set of gunshots knew that we were in prime third party territory, so I did nothing other than just rush into the situation without assessing really 
anything about what was happening. But like in every game in Apex, if you think that you're going to be able to third party someone, chances are another squad is also going to want to third party you. A Rampart was down by the third party and I hit literally one of the worst grapples of my life and somehow still managed to get partially away. Now at this point I thought for surely I would be dead, but somehow I was able to pop off this battery and not be seen. Now keep in mind that my hitbox is the size of a refrigerator, so how people do not see me sticking out with all this bling on my brain, Bruh. I don't understand. But for now, I just sit here in this bush like in Fortnite, my butthole clenched, and I wait. I wait for my moment to strike. But while you're waiting, now might be a good time for you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, or maybe you just like laughing at my struggles. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my struggling videos ever again. So I remain here sitting, but then as soon as the footsteps die out, I emerge from the little crevice that I'm stuck in, only to see another Pathfinder. Now I knew he took some damage and I was able to just pounce right on the opportunity and take him out. solo lifeline. Little did she know that she would become my next victim. Now as I run into the ring, there's a squad waiting to greet me, but then also behind me, I hear footsteps. Solo Bangalore. And after exchanging damage between each other, she decides to throw her all, and I must run. As I make a push for the squad up on the hill, and try and see some of the high ground, I run into a Bangalore who also thought that she could maybe challenge me 1v1. For the second time in this game, I'm able to escape danger somehow by the skin of my teeth. But the fight is not over yet. There's two squads still duking it out and I'm hoping to come in so that I can clean it up and secure this victory. Watson was no match for the ring, and it only leaves me and Bangalore to duke it out and see who will emerge as champion. Giving my shield a recharge. She gets to jump on me first, and I do what almost any other normal player does in Apex. I panic. Remember that moment earlier in the video where I told you to kind of mark this moment as something that could be crucial? Yeah, this is this moment. I had put a lot into this game, only to come up short because of stupid mistakes that I would made. But hey, that's what you get when you're the average gamer. Dealing 2000 damage, I considered it to be a good game, but I was not content. This was just a little adversity that I was facing before I could get that victory with Pathfinder and show his true power. The second game is another hot drop on Storm Point. We're landing at the mill where my teammate didn't seem too fond of our landing spot.
this game couldn't have started out any worse. Why jump so early when there's a whole map ahead of us? But somehow, someway, our new castle is able to make it out unscathed and then is able to craft up our banners. But upon me respawning, duty called. And by duty, I mean literal because my toddler son had already his pants and I was forced to clean it up. One of us not here anymore. But I was able to rejoin the squad just in the nick of time. Oh, man, came back. Well, look at that. Seemed like my pockets were a little bit empty, so we had to stop somewhere so that we could load up and get some new gear. Again, this is the best part in Apex Legends, it is third partying the third party of the third party. With five squads left, this seemed like it was going to be the last and final fight. Now listen, listen, I don't normally use the RE45, so you just pardon my shots, okay? Now listen, listen, I didn't even say that my PK shots were that good either, okay? Okay. But when it mattered most, my shots were able to come in clutch and Lifeline was just about to feel how it feels to get smoked by me. And I don't think anyone was more happy about this dub than my fellow teammate. You are the All Apex right, champions. Other, uh, Apex champion. You were about to quit this beautiful game. Yeah. Now this game might have not have been as satisfying or as interesting as most of my other games, but it came out with the dub nonetheless. I was still able to showcase how Pathfinder can be viable and really showcase why he is the number one legend. Until next time though, I'm King Reggie, your average gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.